Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today, we're gonna be doing a bit of like a DIY, I guess. So, we have this super random shed in our backyard. Let me show you the front. We have this like little deck and then there's chairs and it's literally a little tiny small shed, but it has like windows and floors and everything and all my books. I figured we could make this into like a little book room. I figured we could fix it up a bit because it's kind of a mess right now and my books are all over the floor. I have like a tiny little bookshelf from my dad that he built and I figured we could just clean this up and like do a little transformation. You walk in and there's like all this crap from my mom's wedding and yeah. I don't even know where to start. Probably take all the books out and then clean. windowsills. I got some of the shelf inserts, but it's a lot bigger than I thought. So I'm definitely gonna need my mom's help. I figured I'd lay out the carpet first, so I at least know where that's gonna go. The carpet I have is from Urban. I got it a while ago. Oh my god. That thing is so freaking heavy. My mom's in a meeting and I didn't feel like waiting. Oh my god, that is so heavy. Clearly, haven't brought it up yet. Slowly making my way through the backyard with it because it is so big. And I got so many bruises. Yeah, this and this and this and this. All bruises from carrying that thing up here, but it will be worth it once I get it up. Oh my god, I'm out of breath. Okay, I'm thinking of putting it along this wall if it fits. It looks like it will. Oh, it fits so good. Maybe I can use this as my filming room. I feel like it would be kind of cute. I don't know if it's gonna be like echoey though. I guess I'll see how this footage turns out. I love it, it's so cute. I'm literally so obsessed. Now I get to like, Decorate it and put all my books in it. I am so excited. Ah! I have another huge box of books in the garage, so I think I'll go get that one first, just to, like get it over with. It's the next day. My camera battery died, so I had to charge it, but I'm back. I cut these like little bang pieces. I cut them a few days ago, but I like washed and blow dried my hair today. And I like, I love them. Do I cut more? I'm obsessed. Okay. Anyways, we are going to organize this. I want to do it today, like finish it today because I'm going to film my, my March wrap up, which will be before this video. So I want to film that in here so I can have like a cute little background. And honestly, the lighting is really good in here right now. So I need to get working on that. I have something to do at 2.30 and it's 1.19. So we kind of need to get moving. I brought his dog bed in here so he can hang out with me because we have separation anxiety. Oh, you smell kind of nice. You've been laying in the sun. He smells all warm. I also found this little poster that I had in the garage. I had it like hanging in my room maybe like seven years ago. I don't even remember. It's another little Lana thing. This one that I have up here is also from a Lana album. I don't know if I'm gonna like hang it or I kind of like it just sitting on the... I keep wanting to call it a nightstand. The bookshelf, I kind of like it just sitting there as like decor. Cause if I hung it, I wouldn't be able to even see it in my videos. And I kind of want him like in the background. My like main priority is to make this look good. Cause that's going to be the background of my videos. So we're just going to do that. I don't know how I'm going to organize the books. They're clearly not all going to fit on this shelf, but I figured I could do stacks on top, stacks to the side. And then I can also put books back here where like, you guys won't see it. Let me show you like what the room looks like right now. We have the dog. Do you want to go out? 
I thought you wanted to hang out with me. I have books everywhere. More books. This is what you guys are on. I had this like little nightstand in my room. I had two of them on either side of the bed, but that was when I had a full size bed. But now I have a queen and so both nightstands look kind of silly in my room. So I only have one nightstand in my room. So I brought the other one out here and I wasn't gonna keep it in here, but it's like the perfect height to put my camera on and film. So I think I'm gonna leave it in here simply for that purpose. But here's what it looks like over here. There's my Starbucks. It's a bit of a mess, but nevertheless, we persist. I'm thinking on top of the bookshelves, I definitely wanna do Harry Potter because that's one of my favorite series in the entire world. So I want that to be seen. And uh, I don't know what else. We're just gonna have to figure it out. I would do Magnolia Parks. I don't know, I guess I could. Some of my Magnolia Parks books are still in the house. These are all the books I have already read. The books in my bedroom are all books on my TBR. And then I have some books in one of the closets in the house, which are all books that I've read in 2024. Cause I'm trying to like separate them. Cause at the end of the year when I do like my wrap up video, I don't know, I'm trying to make things easier on myself, but it's not working. I'm in my pajamas, okay? Let's ignore it. The shelves are like kind of deep. So I'm thinking I could do like a row of books that I don't really care about in the back and then the books I want to be seen in the front. I think that's what I'm going to do. I just don't know like I love all my books. Even if I didn't love the book, I still love the book. Does that make sense? Like even if it wasn't a great book, I still love my books. So I don't like want any of them to be in the back. I was also thinking maybe I want to display my Taylor Jenkins read books because TJR is my favorite author by far. I have an entire video on TJR. For some reason that video still gets views all the time. This is the mess I'm staring at at the moment. Cute. Maybe I should just start putting them in piles. YA, romance. Some of these I don't know if they're YA or not. Thriller, Christmas books. Some of these books, I'll look at them and be like, wait, I read that? Like some of them I don't even remember reading. I'm thinking like romance here and then YA here. So I probably should have put those in their corresponding shelves that I did not. Just because like those are the most colorful books. So I want those to be at the top. I can also like have books up against the wall and kind of do like a book wall like Steph Bohr does. So in the back, I have some of my not as loved books. And then I have Christmas books, my nonfiction books, and then also some YA, which I might pull forward if I don't have enough YA to fill the shelf. And then I'm putting my YA books in front of that. And then on the shelf right next to that, I'm going to do like the same thing with romance, except I have so many romance books. So in the back, I'm going to put some of my romances that like weren't my favorites, like that's what we're gonna do for now. Look how cute. Behind all these books are all my Colleen Hoover books and then some overflow of romance. These are all like YA, kind of mystery and then fantasy. Mystery again, I should probably move those over. Back here I have a lot of fiction, some fantasy, and then these are all thrillers and then YA. And then this is cozy mystery. I brought this little lamp in from my room. I have two of these in my room and I only ever use one of them. I have my Magnolia Parks Minus Into the Dark because that I have in the other cover. And these are like the OGs. And then I have this cute little sushi jelly cat. I have the Chestnut Springs series. This little thing that was my sister's and it was on the windowsill. So I just put it there. I have this candle so I can light it in the background of my videos. All my TJR books, the Harry Potter series over here, as well as this little butterbeer thing. Now we're gonna go organize the books in my room because I have a TBR cart. <gasps> Okay, let's go do it. Okay, we're in my room now. This is where I have my TBR books currently. They are just like in these little stacks. I totally forgot we have one of these in our house. My friend, Mary Kate, has the pink one and I'm obsessed with it. I want the pink one so bad, but I figured since we already have one and it's already built, I might as well use it. It's a little dusty. I just don't feel like cleaning it. Okay, fine, I'll clean it. Now we are going to put the TBR books on it. I think I'll organize them by genre, but then I also want to put stuff up on top because on top of my book stacks, I had my purse and then a picture frame of my mom and dad and my TBR jar. So I still want room for that. Although the TBR jar, I think I'm going to put on the bottom so you don't see it because like it's not very cute. 
I guess I can't really put books on both sides. I swear I always see people put books on both sides. That is so cute. And then I have my little TBR jar, which I can put back here. Wait. I was thinking maybe I put some laying down like this so I can put my frame on top. I like happy place on top since the cover is pink and my room is pink. And then I can put my picture frame on it like that. Oh my gosh, I love it. And then I can put my purse in the back. Perfect. Out of sight, out of mind. So cute. I don't love how like this side's empty. Oh, but it looks so good. Anyways, this is a whole nother problem. Ignore that in the background. That is all I have for today's video. I know it was like, I don't know, kind of random, but I just thought I would organize my books with you guys and you can see like a little bit behind the scenes. It might be kind of fun. I hope you guys liked it. If you did, like, comment, subscribe. Anything you do helps me out so much and I really, really appreciate it. Like I don't know how to explain to you guys how much I appreciate every single one of you. So thank you so much for like sticking around with me and just supporting me. I will see you guys so soon in my next one. Love ya. Bye.